prices showed a 10.6% increase over last year. And because of things like drought, supply chain shortages, overall inflation next year, you could see these prices pop even more. It's getting expensive to go grocery shopping. Good time to bring in Stephanie Nash. She's a dairy farmer in Tennessee. She joins us now. Stephanie, uh, good morning to you. Do you see food prices going down anytime soon? No, we're not going to see any change in the U.S. market for food prices for Americans. You know, we imported 57 more percent from Brazil for beef, 12 more percent in Mexico. I'm telling the government and our politicians and our leaders, what are you doing? What are you doing with American grown? How are you supporting our family farmers, ranchers? And how are you supporting Americans at the grocery store? They're paying anywhere from 10 to 18 percent more for products. And we need to fix that. We need to fix the way American runs and how we support our family farmers and ranchers. You know, for people who don't understand how farming works, they're probably thinking, well, farmers are getting such high prices for their goods, they must be making out like bandits. Yeah, I mean, that's the, I guess, we're not getting communication to the public, right? You know, you have JBS, Cargill, right. Tyson. They're making marginal record profits this year off family farmers and ranchers while we see Texas beef selling record numbers because they have no water. And you're seeing California dairy farms sell off because they can't afford feed. And it's just crazy. I think the USDA needs to do a better job of implementing programs to feed Americans, to support American grown, and just be stronger. You know, you look at the markets, you look at imports and exports. Uh, we continue to support other countries and we're not even supporting the American people. You talk about shortages, a uh, real possibility next year. How bad could it be? You look at Ukraine, you look at Russia, you look at what's going on in the Netherlands. I think there's going to be a lot of food shortages next year. You know, Americans go to the grocery store with mm. confidence. They can get the food that they need. And I think we take for granted what farmers and ranchers do around this country. We take for granted the products yeah. that we produce, the wholesome products that we produce here in America. And we need to rely on that. We need to protect our rural communities and look for a future that is stronger in our food security. Well, Stephanie, you're certainly putting out the message and your uh, message is very strong and we understand. We wish you the best of luck. A difficult time, even when things are great, it's difficult to be a farmer, but it's especially difficult right now. Stephanie Nash uh, in Tennessee, just south of Nashville, I believe. Beautiful part of the country. Stephanie, thank you very much.